honey, when I said I wanted you to dive nose deep in my bush, this is not what I meant. What are you doing back there? Where are your legs? I can't leave you alone for two minutes. I'm just gonna have to go ahead and serenade our random crackhead neighbor. Maybe she'd be willing to touch me inappropriately. That is not what I wanted. What's up guys, welcome to Finding Husband's Egg Money 3, also known as Find the Husband's Nest Egg, which makes way more sense all of a sudden. Like some of you guys might remember that we played the first of these games, and for the life of us, no one could figure out what egg money is. Like, even after beating it, I just assumed it was some kind of cultural reference that I wasn't getting, but it turns out Google Translate doesn't appreciate euphemisms. And when it comes to titling your video game, close enough is the standard to reach. So that's one mystery solved. I have no idea why she's finding money in space all of a sudden, but if they got rid of all the weird stuff in these games, I wouldn't want to play them. When you think about it, this game is super meta, because I'm trying to get into the mind of a woman who's getting into the mind of her husband to figure out where he put his egg money. I, I know it's a nest egg, I'm gonna keep calling it egg money, it's way funnier. So if we were multiple minds deep, where would we hide our egg money? Maybe underneath the bed or between the mattresses. That's a classic spot. Oh, never mind. It's just right there. I mean, it's a far stretch from outer space, but maybe the weirdness is going to ramp up. Well, it looks like her husband's been watching the Dead Fish channel again. Might want to ask him about that. Right after we ask him about the weird charcoal baby that's poking out from underneath our table. It is a table, isn't it? I mean, usually tables have chairs around them, stuff on them, more furniture in the room. All right, what exactly are you? Oh, it's a doggy! Hi, Poochie! Oh, 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 it's a cat! It's a... Cats are the worst. What are you gonna spend egg money on, you little turd burglar? I really wish I could tell you guys why turd burglar was the first insult to come to mind when yelling at a cat. <laughs> come on, dude! I just want the egg money! Well, why can't we be... Friends, oh, of course. I, I gotta pull the dead fish out of the television now with new and improved smell of vision. <laughs> yeah, we're really regretting that decision. And then you can have that and just screw off, and we can get our egg money or our husband's egg money, whatever. It's all the same thing. Do you think that's supposed to be a window, a framed photo, or a really strange dimension for a television? Like, in all reality, those three things act the exact same in these games, so I could easily just grab a shovel and start digging in the TV or the photo. Yeah, there we go. We're just gonna... dig the money in half. How do you manage that? So we know where the money is, why don't you just not use the shovel? Or just dig with your hands. It's a tiny little pot. Come on, lady! We don't have many options going for us here. Your entire living room is nothing but a window and a shovel closet. I don't suppose I could tip it over or like maybe move the clouds with my divine power. Like money doesn't grow on trees or it does. Well then, screw me, I guess. Here we go. Day four is when things are going to start to get more complicated. And when things get more complicated, they get way weirder. So the window is looking quite a bit more tidy. And then the shovel closet has been converted into a slingshot closet. Very good. We've got a replica of the thinker. Don't know what his purpose would be. Oh, and it's her husband. Is he okay? He looks stiff as a board, his arms are straight out, and his hands look like he's trying to palm a basketball in his sleep. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, there's his egg money. There's no way we can take this, right? The bird is probably going to warn him. Oh, what if I kill the bird? No? Okay, I'm happy we can't kill the bird. <laughs> you have to serve some kind of purpose. Oh, so maybe I can clog your ear and then kill you? Yeah. Oh, what the hell? What? What? How did he hear the bird's warning if I plugged his ear? 
There's no way I'm just supposed to make a go for the money, right? It'd be way too easy. Maybe I can cork his ears and then he won't hear me sneak up and get the money. Shut up, birds. Uh, what? So it wasn't the bird's warning. He just has some innate ability to deflect rocks in his sleep. Well, that escalated quickly. He went from hiding his egg money in the middle of the living room floor with a bird guarding it to hiding it in the sky with multiple birds guarding it, I would imagine. I mean, there's really only one way of finding out. We just gotta, oh, you're so close. You're just like a couple more kilometers, you'd totally be there. Maybe kick off the bunny slippers, bend your knees when you jump, that kind of thing. You'd cover that extra distance in no time. Or you could try using a ladder. No? Is, is that a stupid idea on my part? Well, then don't I just look <laughs> foolish. So we don't want to break our neck climbing up a ladder to get the egg money. Fine. Well, then maybe we can get a strange stump-legged child to do it for us. <laughs> what you doing with that snickerdoodle, kid? I don't suppose I could take that from you, no? Oh. Got a bear in a tree. Okay, well then we might be able to help with that. I now have a bear. Could I then swap this for the snickerdoodle? Okay, good. <laughs> I was gonna say, cough it up, kid. So now what? I've got candy and I've got a ladder and I don't see how any of that is supposed to help me here. <gasps> what is candy gonna? Oh, oh. Who needs to taste the rainbow when you could just climb up it? I don't trust these weird tablecloth coffee tables anymore. Like, I feel like if I interact with it, I'm gonna get mauled by something. So instead, I'm just gonna take the newspaper off of it. No, I'm gonna take the guitar out of the newspaper and then use that to hide in the closet? No? Okay, then maybe I can serenade the person who's hiding behind my living room bush or the silhouette of Bob Ross? Let's go with the silhouette of Bob Ross, okay. Never mind, not Bob Ross, just the resident crack lady. Wonder how the booger sugar's treating her today. Honey, when I said I wanted you to dive nose deep in my bush, this is not what I meant. What are you doing back there? Where are your legs? I can't leave you alone for two minutes. I'm just gonna have to go ahead and serenade our random crackhead neighbor. Maybe she'd be willing to touch me inappropriately. That is not what I wanted. I was going to say maybe she'd be willing to help me find your money, but apparently not. For some reason, this isn't a game over. I, I guess I technically haven't touched your money yet. Maybe you can serenade her and then I was gonna say then she would come touch you and I don't know why I would want that, but <laughs> you got rid of her at least. And there's your money. Can I like put the bush back over your face or, or something like that? No, because, oh, I'll just stand behind you. Yeah, he's not one for turning his neck. For a guy with no legs and super stiff fingers, he really shredded on that guitar. Again, I, I don't really trust these tables, so I, I'm not gonna touch that. That can just kind of, wait there, nope, nope, nope. Okay, fine, I'll touch it, I'll touch it. What's underneath the table? It's help, wonderful. Hi, kitty. I'm just gonna give this to you now, so that we're friends. Okay, good kitty. Oh, um, what? Why? It gave me the guitar, I already have the guitar. I was just petting the cat. That was weird. <laughs> I think this cat might be haunted. <laughs> Excuse me, little girl. Can I have that money? I'll, I'll, I'll give you a cat. You could have this dumb cat. Maybe I can play to you? Okay, good. The cat didn't attack me. I, I assume it would have attacked me otherwise. Now I'll just take the money and everything is fine. I have no idea what it is I'm looking at right now. Like, my first assumption is that we microwaved the cat? That I probably shouldn't touch it? Okay. It's, it's a lot friendlier now. I don't suppose we just need to water it a little bit. 
Yeah, there we go. It was the top of the crack lady's severed torso in a pot. Why would you not assume that? Seems super weird, but in all reality, it's just another Tuesday in this household. You call the police, you let her do her thing. Don't interact with her, don't water her because you might need the water elsewhere in the house. I would assume that this is a photo. Right? This can't be a window or a TV screen. And then we've got a random hole as well. I don't know which I should water. What if I water this? Maybe I can help your crops? Or make you all run inside? Okay, well they left me a little something something maybe this will go in the hole oh well no wonder we need the egg money we need to call the police and an exterminator i feel the need to point out we don't have a daughter so i don't know who this strange child is that keeps appearing in our house if she is a child at all she might be in her 40s but she's always got a little something in her arms that she doesn't want to give us so we need some kind of negotiation point Maybe she would be willing to listen if she was strung up from the ceiling on a meat hook? No? No stringing up kids? All right, well, what kind of video game is this? <laughs> Let's just try not to sprout ourselves another crack lady. Oh, okay. We got some flowers. I'll trade you. Uh, you're welcome? I think you're welcome is the right answer there. Oh, okay. You seem way more pissy than the cats. And it's not just the scar on the face, but like if you're a dog and you have an ass tattoo, it means you're trouble. I don't suppose I could use this to string it. Okay. Oh, well then. Oh, oh mm, yep, still, still doesn't really do anything. I mean, he's tied on, but he's not gonna give us the money. I don't know if this is the world's smallest living room tree or, or the world's biggest dog house, but either way, I can't interact with either of them. I'm thinking I might need to like fish the money away from him. Okay. <laughs> Just let him sleep. It'll be the exterminator of the police's problem. It's a little weird when random children show up to your house, but it's extra weird when they start hanging photos of themselves. <laughs> Give me your ice cream, kid. Obvi it's gotten to the point where you just know that you can interact with the... Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Collar. That's not a good sign. Oh, and we also have... Uh, that's Death Note, isn't it? That seems like it would be important. No, I got Independence instead. <laughs> that's not what I want. I don't want these books. I want Death Note. Come on. <laughs> get anything else for me? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. All right, well, I guess we're just gonna have to work with what we've got. Oh, it's not a collar, it's your silly little hat. And then you want, you not want that? Oh, no, wait, that goes, no, I was gonna say, usually that goes there, and then that would go, come on, late lady, take, take the friggin' ice cream, there we go. <laughs> Don't you start with me, kitchen Statue of Liberty. Why does this cat constantly look like it's fantasizing about eating my extended family? I really don't appreciate it. I mean, we've got a hole and we've got a giant red button, and there's probably not gonna be anything in the drawers, so I'm just gonna press the button. That worked surprisingly well. Here, take that so that you don't kill me, and then, oh. Okay. I, I was gonna say I needed the fish, but maybe instead I can just use the cats to hold that down. No. I got the cat for a reason. Do I, you can't plug the hole. You really can't just sit there. Or you can. I don't know what it is with this game, but when I grab items, it's nowhere near my mouse cursor. So you just gotta kind of guess. Where is my husband? I can't believe he ordered another Sphinx. This one's thinking about the number four. Is that important? It's probably important, right? Oh, we're gonna flash at our Vagu, and it turned us to stone. <laughs> what just happened? 
I'm not losing my mind, right? We just walked up to it, showed it the goods, and then it was like, no, no, I'm not the one getting rock hard, you are. <laughs> Very strange. You have a weirdly little interactive tail. Okay, maybe I can use that to get the four out of your thoughts? No? What are you up to, girl? Oh, okay, we have a photo of a girl, and we have a cane. Would you like this? Do, do you like... Oh, now you're on two, huh? What does... No, no, don't flash him! Oh, that's a good thing. Okay, now he's on three. What, what, what does it mean? I don't know what any of this means. <laughs> now hit him with the cane? It's the Sphinx's riddle. Oh my god, that's actually clever. I'm the dumb one. <laughs> the riddle goes, what walks on uh, four legs in the morning, two in the afternoon, and three in the evening? And it's a person. It's supposed to mean their life. You start off walking on all fours, the picture of the child. Then two, we were showing our legs, apparently. We were showing a little more than leg, let's be honest. And then the cane is three. I'll be taking my money now, right? Good. <laughs> that was probably the most clever level I've ever seen in one of these games. Now, back to something stupid. We've got a big red button and five holes in our floor. <laughs> Let me guess. There's Oh, there's actually something in here now. Okay. I don't know what that is. It looks like a gold medal. Oh, it's a coin. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, ooh, wait a second. Do we want to tip the violinist, or do we want to toss it in the well and make a wish? I don't know. I don't appreciate panhandling in my house. Can I interact with you guys? I could probably tip him and then take it back, right? Okay. That made you pee for some reason. Oh, and he dropped a little music note. All right. Did you... You don't want that? I don't know why I did that. Can I have my money back, please? I could really use it for the... Well, no. All right. Well, <laughs> I I don't think this is going to help. Uh-huh. That doesn't do anything. Oh, wait. Maybe it has something to do with the water? Do you want this? I am so confused. This one doesn't actually make sense. Oh. Okay. Yeah, back to stupid for sure. Did somebody list my house as a B&B &B or something? Like, why are all these random people showing up to my house? <laughs> He's got my husband's egg money, but I, I don't really want to screw with him. Last thing I need now is to get sucked. Could I maybe close him in? No. Uh... We have a picture of the world's laziest alphabet soup on the wall. It's really just a, a bunch of bees. Don't tell me I need to spell B and B because that will be just ultimately ironic. It's taped onto the wall and that has me suspicious. We haven't seen tape before, but I have a B. I also, oh, I have an A. Okay. Is there a cat under here willing to maul me? No. And we have an O. Could, oh, and maybe, uh, and an R-H. All right. B-A-O-R-H. Bower. B-A and O are all blood types. I don't think R-H is. Do you want this? <laughs> oh. B-A-B and O. Okay, so that, that pissed him off, I guess. Maybe. I don't know, man. I, I really need to change the locks. I was just trying to get the egg money, dude. Not take your breakfast order. Will you please stop stepping on it? <laughs> Maybe I can get across? Okay, yeah. How do you feel about that? Yeah, be gone. Go on. Get, get out. Oh, uh, mm, yeah, that, that's not what we were looking for. Note to self. Don't screw with the vampires that way. You got little tiny like, bat creatures around you. Isn't that interesting? Anything else? Oh, oh, I'm sorry, honey. Were we going to sit on the floor and drink wine tonight? I was too busy dealing with a vampire in our house. <laughs> Is there a cat under here willing to maul you? No? Well, then what's the good of you? Maybe I can beat you to death with a cross. <laughs> or get you drunk? Okay. Um, I don't suppose you'd, you'd want to go suck my husband, would you? Maybe? Oh. I crucified him. <gasps> what? Is that... 
Okay, then. I, I... I have literally nothing to say. I think my brain melted faster than that vampire. I know this might not exactly be the time because we're getting ready for some kind of feeding competition here, but I feel the need to point out that my husband is a huge nerd and I've got a rockin' set of tits. He should just be giving me his egg money. This is ridiculous. The whole concept of this game is just absurd. I don't suppose I could hit you with a little spicy. That way you might not want to... Oh no, that just made him eat faster. Oh, okay then. You'd have an awful hard time eating if you were busy chewing a piece of gum. Oh no, it's a lighter. What am I gonna use a lighter for? Can I just burn the house down? Oh, Jesus Christ, I actually can. <laughs> he is gonna be pissed when he finds out that I burnt his replica last supper. That was worth way more than the egg money. But he was using it to hide his N2? What is that, liquid nitrogen? So we can freeze stuff? What would we want to freeze? I don't get it. I'm just gonna keep raising this to your face until something, oh, I was supposed to freeze his bar. Okay. I don't know if freezing your husband's brain with liquid nitrogen is the most appropriate way of going about getting pocket change. You guys have to admit, our day-to-day -day life is getting way too dangerous. <laughs> so for the sake of the relationship, maybe it would be a good idea just to take a step back, you know, away from the egg money. We could go on a romantic boat expedition. Just the two of us can manage to approach a giant harpy and try to recover the PUBG airdrop. <laughs> All right, sure, why not? Like, I, I can't imagine that we're gonna take off your top. Oh. Uh oh, come on, show us what you're packing there, Ms. Siren. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Well, now that we have that, I guess we could put that on you? Oh. Okay. So, now the siren song doesn't reach our stupid husband. He's not gonna drive us into the rocks because we distracted him with our absolute dump truck of an ass. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Finding Husband's Egg Money 3, guys. I didn't finish the game. I never finish these games because there's always like 30 something levels, but if you guys wanna see me return to finish it, then be sure to leave a like in the video, let me know, and we'll figure out why this child has led a unicorn into my house. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.